everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Reading with Grandma. Today I will be reading you three little golden books. These are geared for the smaller children in your life, your toddlers, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, your children. Pop them down with your tablet or your phone and let them enjoy a story and see the pictures. The first book we were going to be reading is called Fire Engines. The firemen slide down the pole. Cling, cling, cling goes the fire engine bell. The chief is on his way. Here they come. Watch out, make way for the hose car. There's the little Dalmatian dog that always goes with them. Hurry, hurry, jump on the hook and ladder truck. The people come running out to see the great big hook and ladder truck. Here they are at the fire. The chief tells his men what to do. Quick, connect the hoses. Shh, goes the water from the hydrant. Crank, crank, up go the ladders. Up go the firemen with their hoses. Chop, 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 go the axes, breaking a hole in the boards to get through. Crash, go the windows. The firemen have to break the windows to get inside to put the fire out. Down the ladder comes the firemen. They jump into the net to save things from the fire. There, he saved a little puppy. The fireman's jumping out of the window. Sput, sput, out goes the fire. Tired firemen and people go home. Everything is over. The fire is out. Everybody is rescued. Hooray for the brave firemen. Here we go, the fire engine story. Our next story is one that my daughter, who is now 38 years old, used to love when she was a little girl. We got this book for her when we found out she was going to have a baby sister. This book is called The New Baby. It is by Esther Wilkin and pictures by Eloise Wilkin. Baby Deer is my brand new baby doll. Daddy bought, brought her to me on a very special day. It was the day Mommy and our new baby came home from the hospital. There they are, coming in the door. Mommy loves her baby, and I love mine. We give our babies their bottles. Then we pat them on their backs to bubble them. Get that burp out. Mommy changes her baby, and I change mine. Mommy bathes her baby, and I bathe baby deer. We play little piggy with their pink little toes. We dress our babies in their bonnets before we take them out. Mommy has a carriage for her baby, and I have one for baby deer. We go walking together with our babies. Mommy's baby sleeps in a little white bed that used to be mine. My baby sleeps in a cradle all her own.
Mommy has a book for her baby, and I have one for baby dear. We write things in our book all about our babies. How much they weigh, how much they, how long they were, if they were a girl or boy, if a piece of their hair, and all the exciting things babies do. Mommy rocks and sings to her baby, and I sing to mine. We smile at our babies and talk to them. Mommy says this is the way our babies know that they are the most wonderful babies in the whole world. Sometimes Mommy lets me hold her baby. Mommy's baby is my baby sister. And when my daughter was that age, she loved holding her little baby sister. When my baby sister is a big girl, I will let her hold baby dear. And that is the end of The New Baby. Now our last book for today is going to be The Little Red Caboose. This was a good story that my son enjoyed when he was little. He is now 31, so he's not by any means a little boy anymore. Now my grandchildren love it. This is called The Little Red Caboose. It is a story by Marion Potter, and pictures are by Tibber Grigley. The Little Red Caboose always comes last. First comes the big black engine, puffing and chuffing. Then come the boxcars. Then the oil cars. Then the coal cars. Then the flat cars. Sometimes they were switched around in different ways. But the little red caboose always came last. Boys and girls waved at the big black engine. They listened to all the box cars and all the oil cars and all the coal cars and all the clack, flat cars that go clickety clack. But by the time the little red caboose came along, the boys and girls were turning away because the little red caboose always came last. Oh, smoke, said the little red caboose. I wish I were a flat car or a coal car or an oil car or a box car so boys and girls would wave at me. How I wish I were a big black engine puffing and chuffing way up at the front of the train but i am just the little red caboose nobody cares for me poor sad red caboose one day the train started up a mountain up went the big black engine up went the box cars up went the oil cars up went the coal cars up went the flat cars up went the little red caboose Hang on tight, little caboose, called the flat car. This is a long, tall mountain, and you are the last car on the train. Don't I know it, sighed the little red caboose. Poor me. The train went slower and slower and slower. Soon it was hardly moving. It looked as if the train could not get up the mountain. Look out, little caboose, called the flat car. The train is starting to slip back down this long, tall mountain. Not if I can help it, said the little red caboose. And he slammed on his brakes, and he held tight to the tracks, and he kept that train from sliding down the mountain. 
He was the hero. He saved the train. Then, bump, the little red caboose felt something push him from behind. It was two big black engines. They pushed the train up to the top of the mountain. We couldn't have done it, said the big black engines, if it had not been for the little red caboose. Everyone cheered, and the little red caboose nearly burst with pride. Now children wave at the big black engine and at all the cars. But they save their biggest waves for the little red caboose, because the little red caboose saved the train. The end. I hope you enjoyed our stories for today, and be sure and hit the like and subscribe button. Now Dino Brody and I are having a little contest here. Whoever gets, he's going to upload a video at the same time I'm going to upload this video. And whoever reaches five likes first and some comments, hopefully, wins our contest. Not sure if there's going to be a surprise for each, either one of us, but bragging rights. We can say, yep, I got my, my five viewers before you did. So please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And there'll be lots more stories to come. If you like a story, you want to hear it again, or if you want a different story, leave it in the comment section, and I will be sure to get it to you. All right, everybody. Have a really great weekend. Bye now.